Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all strategies for business success. You know it's me again, your girl, your small business consultant, and I'm diving in on the importance of having a basic proposal writing process. And we're going to start to finish and this is going to be part one it's going to be a series because i want to create actionable manageable steps and keep the videos very short so let's get started now the first thing having a proposal schedule is very important because you need to know how much time do we have to respond right whether it be a source of sought notice whether it be a request for information or just your solicitation, anything. You want to have time to respond. So I recommend it. The first thing you do, you know, to document your process, having a process in writing is critical because one day either you're a small team, maybe it's just you on the team right now, but you planned on hiring someone. So then having a process in place is going to be, it's going to make it easier for you to start identifying roles and responsibility uh showing that person uh when you get in the kickoff meeting the schedules and so forth and so on so the basically you just go in there create you a new google doc and then you hit insert hit table and then just go over one two three four five six seven if you plan on doing seven days a week and i normally only do five days a week because people are normally using their weekends to spend time with their family, uh, doing their errands, and that's their personal time. Only when I have to is when I'll schedule uh, the some activities on the weekend. But that means I haven't properly planned for the opportunity. And that's the reason why we are having to use the weekend. But if you properly plan for everything, then you'll have the right amount of time and then if the proposal so you went over seven or five days a week then you go down if it's the proposal is due in two weeks if the proposal is done in three weeks if it's four weeks then you click that and make the sale so this is just a sample so the solicitation is released so what are some of the activities that you have to consider to put on that schedule, right? The importance of a schedule. All right, so let's just break those uh, down. So breaking down the schedule, first of all, you gotta read the solicitation. How many pages is it? Is it 10, 12, 14? Is it 150 pages? Is it 170 pages? That's gonna determine right there, how much time do you have to respond? Because first of all, you have to read it. And then that's gonna determine when you schedule your kickoff meeting because you got to read the solicitation. Uh, then you have to identify the instructions. You have to find out uh, the page count. All those things have to be taken in consideration when you're coming up with um, getting ready for your kickoff session with your team or if it's just you. So we practice as we in, in the military, everything we do is uh, we're going to practice. We're going to practice everything. You need rehearsals. So even if it's just you in your business right now, start practicing how you're going to deal with your teams. Work through the process. Uh, identify all the bottlenecks. Identify all the things that's missing as you work through each requirement. So that way it's going to be efficient. So you don't have people sitting and on the clock, not just doing anything. They can hit the ground running. They know what their assignments are. You've already read the solicitation. You know what it's asking for. The things that you're going to need to be aware of is that the past performance, the resumes, all those things. And then just keep listing the things that way you can prepare for the kickoff meeting. So say you read the solicitation and then you identify that we need to have resumes, right? Or you identify that there are some other things. Oh, yes, we definitely got to have the past performance. So you know you're going to need the past performance write-ups. Then 
anything else you need oh so we're gonna have to do reference checks so if you're gonna have to do reference right so you're gonna need to get that stuff back in a timely manner so that way what first of all the reference checks is critical so say you uh list a reference that no longer works at that organization that you were there with that is why it's important to give the reference a heads up that this opportunity is coming out we've bid on this opportunity and i plan on using your name is that okay because once you go to do your reference check you might find out that person is no longer there there's someone else there and then you want to ensure that they have your documentation that you, they are aware that you have done business with this organization before and is is it okay that we use you as a reference so then you might want to put that on the calendar so that way you don't forget to follow up and ensure that you got that response back and some of the solicitations it's also going to ask you to do a past performance questionnaire right so then that means you have to send that questionnaire to the individual so they can have it back to the contracting officer in a timely manner because we do want to give our references time to to fill out the document so that's important so then also about now you have to draft that uh, your outline you know you might have to do a compliance matrix i always recommend doing a compliance matrix so you can see what we have and what we don't have then i also recommend you do a bid decision so we know we got to do a bid decision so these are this is how you put together a proposal writing process by working through everything so that way you can see and then the learning curve right now yes and at the beginning it's going to take a lot of time but as you put together the system then you're going to get faster and faster then once you've got your system together record a video record a video in your training library so that way when a new team member comes on they can watch the video and see how you put together the training process that's going to save you time and if they have questions then they come back and ask you those questions as a ceo of your business you're working in your business and on your business and it's important to continually do the process improvement that way you streamline the processes making things more efficient and better that means you can respond to more opportunities but if there's no processes in place, there's no procedures in place, it's going to take more time. And then you're not going to be efficient with that time. So it's important. So when you're doing your bid decision, because these are the things that you're going to take note of when you're adding them to your proposal schedule. So you can kind of see, uh, okay, it took me three days to read the solicitation. So I don't want to have the meeting to Thursday and the kickoff team meeting then but we got to have the kickoff meeting prior so we can get the questions so we i can review the questions and then get everything together so i can send it up by the due date for questions due date now is there a pre-bid conference we need to list that on here the pre-bid conference because that pre-bid conference you might be able to meet potential team and partners you might be able to meet uh subcontractors that are looking for prime contractors you know uh is you developing relationships because the same people are going to be going to these pre-bid conferences and you're going to see this is a small community you're going to see people over and over again that you might see at an industry day or an event or small business event or a matchmaking event and you want to take notice because those could be your potential clients there could be your potential team and partners you just never know so it's important to build those relationships so that way you you know you can start uh not waiting to the opportunity come out but when the opportunity come out how about they send you an email hey we got this opportunity coming out would you like to be on our team so there's a there's many reasons to document and to do all these things uh 
prior. So let me stay focused because I always want to make sure that's why I create agenda so that way we stick to the topic at hand and that way you know what action item we're covering at to in this um for this video is getting that session that schedule together knowing all the tasks that have to be done and and, and then putting the allocated time for the resumes reviews for the past performance reviews for the uh, reference checks for the drafting of the bid decision you know the compliance matrix and so forth and so on so i just wanted to give you a snapshot of what you need to do to get that proposal schedule so in the next video i'm going to be going over having your kickoff meeting so and then what i'm planning to do is dissect each portion of the videos so that way they're manageable you go do that action first thing first do that schedule know how to set your schedule up because we're building our proposal process and then in the next video we're going to go over the kickoff meeting so please uh give me a thumbs up like this video uh subscribe share this video with other small business owners who are trying to set up their proposal writing process and then see you in the next video take care team bye now bye